everybody this is green spirit welcome back to my channel i hope you are having a blessed autumnal equinox i have decided that i would like to read a, a short story for celebrating this autumnal equinox also known as maven uh, so i've decided to read this story it is called wild child by lynn plordu if you have children this might be a good time for them to listen to this story as well it is an absolutely beautiful story and as you can already see from the imagery it is very pagan in nature so let's get started Time for bed, Mother Earth said. Not for a while, said her wild child. A song first. I need a song to play in my head before going to bed. So Mother Earth gave her child a song. Crickle, crackle, leaves, snapple. Chatter, chatter, chipmunks, patter. Flap, flitter, birds, twitter, skitter, scatter, acorn, splatter, and such was the song to play in her head, and Mother Earth said, now are you ready for bed? Not for a while, said her wild child, a bite first, I need a bite, a little snack before taking a nap. So Mother Earth gave her child a snack. Crunchy munchy, chewy chestnuts, plumpy lumpy, pulpy pumpkins. Snapperly dapperly, cidery apples, puckery smuckery, crimsony cranberries. And such was the snack before taking a nap. And Mother Earth said, Now are you ready for bed? Not for a while, said her wild child. PJs first. I need PJs to get all dressed before taking a rest. So Mother Earth gave her child PJs. A fiery, flaming, reddish nightgown. A brilliant, bursting, yellowish robe. Two burnt blistering orangish slippers, a tawny tarnish goldish nightcap, and that's how she was dressed before taking a rest, and Mother Earth said, now are you ready for bed? Not for a while, said her wild child, a kiss first, I need a kiss. A smooch and a smack before hitting the sack. So Mother Earth gave her child a kiss. A whooshy, whirlishly, windswept snuggle. A freezing, frizzling, frosting caress. A gustery, blustery, twisty embrace. A crystallish, icicleish, icebergy kiss. And such was the smooch and smack before hitting the sack. And Mother Earth proclaimed, Now you are ready for bed. This time her child smiled, yes, that wild child, with a wink and a wiggle and a stretch and a giggle, hungered below in a blanket of snow and let out a yawn so loud and so long. Her breaths grew deep as she fell fast asleep. And Mother Earth 
said, while touching her head, Only sleep for a while, for I shall miss my wild child, my wild child called Autumn. Then Mother Earth put herself to bed, finally resting her head. But her eyes open wide, as before her she spied, another child stirring, a swooshing, a swirling, bouncing on the bed. Can't sleep, Winter said. So I chose this book because of the autumnal equinox, because of all the beautiful images um, in here. Um, I considered reading it later on as we were going to be approaching winter, but decided that this was a good enough time to do it because winter, whether we like it or not, will soon be upon us, even though fall is just beginning. I hope you enjoyed the reading of this story, um, and if your children watched, I hope they enjoyed it too. It is an absolutely gorgeous book. Um, it's one of mine and my son's favorites. So I hope you guys have a blessed equinox and I hope that you can enjoy it with your families. Blessed be and goodbye.